Hey people, this is Jeff Detellis from EatLivePrimal.com. And I'm Brian Sperduti from Genesis Personal Training. And this is week two of our update of Brian's transition into the Paleo Primal world. So uh, I'm going to have Brian give you a quick update as far as how, uh, how the first stage went. How did week one go? Week one went real well. I really tried to focus on just the initial transition into a Paleo Primal lifestyle. I didn't really worry too much about the working out yet because I wanted to see just what pure change of dietary habits would be, or eating habits would be, and uh, I found it to be pretty interesting and pretty successful. So up until this point, um, what kind of results are we talking about? Well, I've been pretty much doing Paleo Primal for about two to two and a half weeks and stepped on the scale, down six pounds already. It's six pounds, and over that period, Exercise, no exercise? No. No exercise. I wanted to do a as direct study as I could just on the primal and paleo eating piece of it. I'm going to incorporate exercise this Monday, but I really wanted to get the nutrition aspect and a full grasp of it. Um, you know, even you know, seeing the weight loss and knowing there was no calorie deficiency, if anything, an up in calories was just really interesting interesting and kind of mind-blowing a bit. Well, because the concept that, that – uh the paleo primal approach takes is it's not about um, food volume it's about what that food does to your to your hormones and when your hormones are what regulates your weight so by you increasing your food calories if it's not um, insulin spiking food so on and so forth uh, you can very easily manage your weight so I know we didn't touch on this enough last week why don't we kind of give them an outline of what the paleo primal food approach is, what foods have you been sticking to eating um, over the last two, two and a half weeks? Well, the foods I pretty much uh, went with were higher fat, uh, lower carb, and uh, a good amount of protein. Um, avocados, nuts, pecans, almonds, walnuts. I do not eliminate carbs totally, it's just something I don't do. I, I just do not take an overabundance of them in. Okay, so basically we're talking whole foods, um, sticking to the perimeter of the supermarket. So uh, how about fruit? Are you incorporating fruit? Yes, I do have some fruit. Does fruit, vegetables? Veg a lot of Brussels sprouts, a lot of asparagus, broccoli, cauliflower, I'm becoming quite the chef. Awesome. Um, nuts and seeds, as you and mentioned. Seeds, yep. And obviously uh, protein coming from? Beef. 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 Uh, chicken, fish, stuff like that? Or? Yeah, chicken, fish, um, venison. Oh, nice. If any type of meat I can get my hands on and cook and eat, I've been going with. Right, so basically we're eliminating foods out of boxes, bags, and cans. Um, uh, grains eliminated? Yes, pretty much. Okay. How about um, dairy? Have you tinkered with dairy at all? Very few and far between. Okay. Um, once in a great while I may have a little something, but not really. Okay. It's something I really... Yogurt, cheese, no? No. No? All right, so basically we're talking whole foods, real foods, uh, not avoiding boxes, bags, and cans um, in order to manage weight with uh, no micromanaging other than checking in and just to check in. See where we're at. So you're going to implement the exercise starting this week. Have you outlined an approach yet to how you're going to approach the exercise portion? I'm going to go into the think tank tonight put together a goal-specific program for myself, and then implement it tomorrow morning. Awesome. So uh, next week when we get together, we'll check back, see what the, uh, the results of implementing the exercise was, um, how Brian feels on the exercise, what you chose for exercise and why. Uh, I'm sure that people would be uh, pretty curious about that. Um, <laughs> I think that, that about covers it. Um, and then we'll, we'll check back with Brian next week, see what, uh, what installment three brings to Brian's paleo-primal transformation. Sound good? Sounds good to me. Awesome. Awesome.